NASCAR stands for National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing and was founded in 1948 in Daytona Beach, Florida. Moonshiners, liquor producers, and people who wanted to outrun the police started this sport by racing each other to see who was the best of the best. There is much racism in this sport, as depicted with a Confederate flag, but we'll get to that later. Stock car racing was geared for white men in the South, so black drivers encountered a lot of resistance. They weren't as warmly welcomed as their white counterparts. At the top of NASCAR we have the Cup Series, where there have only been four black drivers since the beginning of the sport. Wendell Scott, Willie T. Ribs, Bill Lester, and Bubba Wallace. William Darrell Bubba Wallace Jr. was born on October 8, 1993 in Mobile, Alabama to Darrell Wallace Sr. and Desiree Wallace. Bubba began racing at the age of 9, and in 2005 he won 35 of 48 races of the Bandolera series held that year. He continued to win races until he reached the pinnacle of the sport, the Cup Series in 2017. Bubba was now the only full-time black NASCAR driver, and everyone was questioning if he belonged in the sport. But there was a bigger problem. The murder of George Floyd on May 25, 2020 brought to the surface an underlying problem that has always existed in America. Although many died before him, his death sparked the Black Lives Matter movement. Thousands of people began protesting, including Bubba, who wore a t-shirt with the now infamous words, I can't breathe, as well as Black Lives Matter on June 7, 2020 at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. He was making a statement by standing up for what he believed in. Many people disagreed with him, arguing that sports and politics shouldn't be mixed. He was also interviewed by CNN News. Don Lemon, a reporter, asked him, What are you going to do if someone raises a Confederate flag? I, I, yeah. What's the next action, Baba? I don't know. To which he replied, um, No one should feel uncomfortable when, they're, when they come to a NASCAR race. So it starts with Confederate flags. Get them out of here. NASCAR fans were very upset. You see, in 1860 and 1861, 11 southern states withdrew from the Union to protect white supremacy and the institution of slavery, forming the Confederate States of America and sparking the U.S. Civil War. After the war, their flag became a symbol of southern heritage. After several meetings, the board of NASCAR announced on June 10, 2020, that the Confederate flag is prohibited from all NASCAR events and properties. There was now a divide between the fans which caused some protests, such as a plane with the Confederate flag and a banner that read Defund NASCAR. Continuing the protests, on June 21, 2020, a noose was found in Bubba's Talladega Speedway garage. NASCAR called the FBI to resolve this crime. The next day, all of NASCAR's drivers and crews rallied around Bubba. It was a sign of unity and support. Later on, the FBI discovered that the noose was actually there months before Bubba was assigned the store. It was used as a pool rope to close the garage door. They concluded it was not an intentional and racist act towards Bubba. Many fans and even the president of the US at the time were very upset and said Bubba created this hoax for more attention and needed to apologize. After all these events, Bubba received much backlash. Even today, he gets booed at races and many influencers flood the internet with negative commentary. This has led him to suffer from mental illness, but his family and friends have helped him to learn to try and ignore all the haters. On October 4th, 2021, at Talladega Super Speedway, he became the first African-American driver to win a race in the Cup Series since 1963's winner, Wendell Scott. He continues racing to this day.